Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started first of all a big thanks to all of you who usually likes and add comments to the video please guys keep doing so because it is really helping the channel i'm seeing a progress going forward so i will keep doing these videos of course as far as i see that uh, there is view on them so we will change things up today a little bit i start with the euro usd we are looking at the weekly time frame and as for now what we've got so far was that uh, we've had uh, the euro uh, to the bearish side on the weekly time frame and the last couple of weeks things start to slow down so uh, we've got a nice momentum to then start seeing the euro slowing down at this area this is a little bit of a warning flag that we might see potential reversal or something like that but all in all this area is it it is a broken structure now and we might still see continuation to the downside but you need to be a little bit worried about that now going down to the daily time frame the structure here is clear as well but as i said since we've got a little bit of a slowdown we've got a minor structure that got broken last week one need to start thinking that potentially we might see a correction a uh, bit higher and uh, what happened last uh, thursday and friday was actually a rejection so what's key here in my opinion uh, is what happened on uh, these two days so we have thursday an attempt to move higher they failed to break above previous high and friday there was uh, also a lower high that the market did not uh, was not able to break or uh, make a intraday attempt uh, to uh, break higher here that's why we've got the lower high going down to the four hour time frame again <clears throat> this is showing the failure here of retesting previous level and uh, since uh, the last move was a, a break to the downside this still could be seen at potential retest and continuation so pretty interesting chart here on the euro usd uh, going down to the one hour time frame you see it clearly i think that uh, the key structure for next week uh, gonna be this level here so in my opinion if we see a break below this area the only way to play it is look for a retest and continuation to the downside is it it is pretty open down here that uh, if the break happened there is nothing on the way until we reach these lows down here or this low down here so uh, for next week if this got broken looking for further downside now how do we change to a bullish bias well i think at least they need to break above this previous high so if they manage to break above that uh, area above this high then we potentially gonna get a bigger correction to the upside but keep keep in mind what i showed you on the weekly time frame <coughs> this market still look bearish both uh, weekly and daily time frames sterling uh, this one is looking much better we've got a nice strong weekly candle but honestly if we check the the weekly structure we're still looking at the market with lower lows and lower highs and this move to the upside this did not change the fact that this market is bearish if this to change on the weekly bias uh, the bias to change on the weekly they need to break above this previous high on a weekly basis now if we go down to the daily time frame uh, we see that we've got now we had a, a, a higher low here which is not good for the bears with this one two three move this is showing that we might start seeing something to the upside but also i want you to keep in mind that this is not new here that you see a structure that get broken once we've got this same scenario here with one two three so there was a break above previous high to then seeing the market struggling to make new highs gave us a double bottom and start moving to the downside and the last move with a good momentum was this one with the bearish momentum so 
is it what we're seeing now a retest of this structure to then start looking for continuation that could be the case but i want you to be a little bit careful on that guys because the momentum is good we still do not see uh, weakness yet uh, for the bulls so the last moves was a nice moves here with higher highs and higher lows and good momentum on that we, one could argue that this is a good area and it is a good area lately we've got this huge dip from here so um i think at least if anything gonna happen to the downside potentially a retest of this area a dip back down otherwise this market is now showing showing a good momentum to the upside and it might continue higher so i want you to be careful if you see any continuation like this next week and a retest that hold at uh, this area then you might see further upside on this market USD JP did reach a key area now weekly time frame we see that uh, 114.50 is uh, reached and as I told you guys um, last time that any break above this will send this market quickly to the upside and that is uh, it's not a crystal ball it is pretty easy to see yeah there is nothing on the way there is no reason for the bulls to stop anywhere ahead of these areas up here so now they did reach target they might try to push a little bit further up there is still rooms uh, room for more upside i mean next target gonna be this here if they manage to break above this area but i'm expecting a little bit of a slowdown i'm expecting a little bit of a profit taking of this area up here so um it is potentially time to start watch and see if we're gonna now after this nice extended move start to see some kind of a correction before a continuation so uh, two scenarios you either look for a sell if you don't like to sell against such a huge trend then your next move would be wait for a daily close above this level then start looking for correction and continuation i do not like this scenario because the market been pushing for a while now so i would love to see a little bit of a correction i would love to see this market making some double top here or an head and shoulder here and start rotating back down i might try to sell this and then the next area of interest is going to be 112 once again uh, usd chief checking the weekly time frame even on this one to, to understand what's going on so this market been uh, moving uh, to the upside like this on the weekly time frame and the last move was a break above previous high which is key because now we have a higher high uh, here and this was potential correction and continuation so uh, been going sideways try to push lower but the the weekly structure on this leg to the upside is still not changed and that is bullish now you can argue that the overall move is a bearish move yes absolutely but if we if we crash the chart and look where we are at we are coming from this low the price been here once <laughs> back in 2009 and uh, this is a low here this is a nice level here where we found um, uh, support it did print a bottom it gave us a higher low and now we are continuing with higher lows and higher highs so the the, <coughs> the ongoing right now based on our latest uh, data from here is a, a bullish market and this last week did not change the fact of that now um, the trend line got broken we are still sitting at this potential support area we've got a nice rejection from the downside on the daily but also we've got rejection from uh, above so it is a bit a bit of a tricky market so we need to be careful but all in all i'm uh, watching here to see if this um, will continue after this higher high bounce back down and then continuation so if this level holds we might see further upside otherwise a break below this will signal that this move to the upside is dead for now and we move back down toward this area because also here as you see it is pretty empty there is some structures here but the best level absolutely gonna be down here for the bears as a potential target if they manage to break lower so as first i'm watching to see if the bulls will try to push this market for more upside from this area USD CAD, this one is dead as well. Checking the weekly time frame, this is uh, clearly a, a invert, uh, sorry, a head and shoulder that now uh, got confirmed with a broken neckline. Couple of weeks below the neckline, there is nothing on the way, honestly, here until we reach this area here or this low down here. Those are the levels to watch. So we have this move here, and we had 
this area down here. Uh, I don't know why I have this blue line here. I don't like it, but yeah, let's go. Uh, let's keep it or let's just uh, put my favorite color on instead. Here we go. Um, okay, guys, so the weekly, pff, uh, pff, yeah, the head and shoulder, the neckline is broken. Uh, next target gonna be down here or down below here uh, I'm not seeing uh, the bulls coming back here yet um, even though I would love to see that since I'm a perma bull on the dollar uh, this is broken now it is a bit of extended move so some kind of a correction might happen maybe the first level of interest gonna be here for the bears to look for retest and then continuation from this area but monthly s2 is potentially the next target here on this market so sell rallies could be the scenario the oil is keep pushing to the upside so this might help this market again retest of this level then potential continuation is a possible idea for next week aussie usd also we're shaping up a little bit better now weekly time frame what's interesting here <coughs> the the major uh, the overall here is still a bearish uh, but we have an early warning there was a huge failure to break this previous low so we end up with a higher low this is an early sign that we might continue higher now uh, the key area gonna be up here this need to be broken on the daily time frame at least to then look for continuation to the upside so I don't think the bulls will stop here until they tag this previous high and if they do we might start seeing a little bit of a fight to the downside this been going for a while now so look for this and then start to look for potential reverse especially if you see some uh, bad sentiment on the stock market now if you don't see a bad sentiment sentiment on the stock market that would mean we might get a breakout on the daily then we look for a retest on lower time frame and continuation that is scenario number two um, New Zealand USD also um, gave us a higher low which means we have a potential inverted head and shoulder here and if we look left on the weekly time frame there is nothing on the way until we reach this previous high here the neckline of this uh, as you see here we end up with a doji candle followed by a strong weekly candle so this move was a strong bullish candle now we have another uh, bullish candle here with a strong momentum which is a potentially showing us that this market will push higher at least monthly r1 and next target potentially gonna be this previous high so start looking at monthly r1 for potential troubles but uh, if anything here it might be just a correction back down before a continuation there is now a, a, a huge change in the in the momentum here and i think that if the correction happened it could be a correction back down toward monthly pivot point before uh, potentially a bounce back to the upside and if they keep moving without a breakout uh, without a correction and break above uh, monthly r1 absolutely next target gonna be up here on uh, new zealand us dollar gold for those of you who trade it i moved it a little bit further back because i see people skipping it in the start of the video so here we go here we have gold for those who trade it we're still looking at a potential bearish market on the weekly time frame lower lows coming here uh, rejection coming from above there was a nice attempt last week if we check the daily time frame there was this inverted head and shoulder it worked nicely actually it did bro break the neckline but as you see it went quickly back down now uh, this does not change the fact that we have a higher high here and a higher low here uh, and as far as there is no break below this it might still continue bounce back up so keep an eye on this previous low here on gold for our time frame this is what it looks like uh, i don't like such a correction because it is a little bit scary because what might happen now is another bearish flag and boom one more to the downside but all in all it is potentially or maybe a retest of the neckline then continuation higher as i said as far as there is no break below these this market might still find support here and oil <laughs> weekly time frame still going crazy and i'm not expecting anything else here because the key area gonna be the 90 i think the bulls are eyeing the 90 now after such a nice uh, 
break retest another break to the upside broke previous high looking left here it is an empty area after breaking here the next target going to be potentially the 90 in my opinion there is some minor levels but the key area going to be the 90 and that that is why i'm thinking the bulls are eyeing now i'm still <laughs> keep saying wait for correction they are not happening but I would keep saying that if you get a correction back down to 77 area 7650 then you might start look for continuation from that level i do not like to trade a market that been pushing for a while and um, yeah we have monthly r2 here we have um, this previous high slightly broken but it still could give you a correction back down before a continuation so be aware of that but it is a rocket right now and uh, you should not be trading it to the downside at least and that would be it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye